Few companies have had a pandemic quite like Amazon. In March and April, Amazon had sales days, 30 straight sales days that were equivalent to last year's Amazon Prime Day. But that cost the health of more than 19,000 Amazon employees who caught the coronavirus, supplying those in need of lockdown essentials. Amazon tends to hold its Prime Day in July to buck up sales during the dog days of summer and add more customers to its subscription service. But if the pandemic has doubled Amazon's profits, the impact on supply chains and employees has severely disrupted its ability to guarantee delivery times. And that's part of the lure for signing up to Prime in the first place. And as it expands Prime Day to Brazil and Turkey for the first time, there's concern that recent history will repeat itself. With the combination of spiking COVID cases, right? Warehouse workers with sickness, they're fully anticipating November and December to be a real challenge. Ditto for those traditional stores who depend on attracting holiday season shoppers for the bulk of their annual revenues. But some, including Target, have demonstrated resilience where online only retailers like Amazon have been overwhelmed by offering services such as curbside pickup. And Target has felt confident enough to go head to head with Amazon, its own deal day coinciding with Prime Day. Obviously, in-store shopping is going to look a lot different during the holiday season. So what I'm seeing that retailers are doing are spreading the holiday season out. If retailers are looking over their shoulder at Amazon as it eyes up sales growth of up to a third for this quarter, even Amazon has to be wary. Chinese online retailer Alibaba is gearing up for its annual Singles Day sales on November the 11th and recruiting US vendors to take part. For its June shopping festival, Alibaba took just under $100 billion in one day alone, almost three times Amazon's net sales for the entire second quarter of this year. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.